All right. So there's been a number of people lately have been struggling with uh, putting icons in again, and it is a bit of a struggle sometimes. And so what I want to do is I want to show you what I did here with basically a couple lines of CSS code to make this be really much more responsive and uh, be able to basically put it inside of one element. These are all icon elements. But let me show you how this works. So right now we're at 1350 wide. And so... Um, if we come down here to a laptop, it says 1,024. That's actually an iPad size. So it looks good here on an iPad. And then if we get down smaller into what they're calling here a tablet, a 768. It goes to the second line, which is what you would expect it to do because you'll see here uh, that this was one row with two columns in it. And then if we go down into smaller mobile phones, you're going to see here that it keeps changing uh, in size. But let me get out of responsive mode and let me just show you what happens here. As we pare this down, what you're going to see is these are getting closer to each other. They're not going to a separate line. They're not breaking up. They're not doing anything. They're basically staying in the same column together and they're maintaining equal spacing between themselves. So let me just catch, let it catch back up here. And as we do this, it's going to maintain that spacing. So let me just show you what the code is. And like I said, it uh, couldn't be any simpler. Uh, let me just show you what I did here first before we get to the code. So again, two column row, headline on the left. On the right here, I have four different icon elements. So let me just click on that. And I have them right now. I have center aligned, but you can do left or right aligned. You can, of course, put a link here to, you know, Facebook. In this case, you go to Facebook. Uh, you can say whether you want to open up a new tab or not. And then, of course, you can change the size of that character here and the color. And then over here uh, in, in advanced, that's where you pick which one you want it to be. Click on that. You can put in, like, type in Facebook and then pick the one you want right there. So that's how you set that up. Um, I know some people were having trouble even finding this element. So let me click on the plus sign and we'll just go down our list. So it's all the way down here, right there under content blocks icon right there. That's where you find it. So we have them all set here. So what we're going to do before we go any further, I want to come up here and I want to go to columns and come down to find this column. This is the second column in this second section. So we'll click on that. We will come down, click on the hashtag, and we will copy this out here. And then we're going to open up our CSS. And uh, you would just, you would open it by here. Let me do it the way you guys would do it. Uh, custom CSS. And uh, so paste that in, paste in that uh, CSS ID selector. And then you got your left curly bracket and right curly bracket down here. And all you got to put in between is display colon flex, flex wrap, no wrap. So what that says is, is we're going to display this in flex, which is just a CSS property. And we're going to say no wrap. So no matter what happens, this thing is not going to wrap down to the second line. It's always going to stay fixed on the same line. And then the second line you have to put in here is just paste this exact same thing, the, the CSS ID selector here again, and just put space DIV after it. And then below here, we put in width of 25%. Now in this case here, I have four items. So we want to have that be 25%. Whereas if you have three, make it 33.3. .3. If you have five, make it 20%. And uh, simple math right there. So that is it. This is all the code that you need to be able to essentially make this responsive and make it look good no matter what size screen you're on without having to get it crazy. I've, I've shown you in the past how to do it with HTML. And Tara had a way the other day of just making it 25% and then floating it. But floats can cause a problem. And so when I saw her do that, I was like, okay, I, I got to figure out how to do it with Flex. And again, it uh, real simple. Like I said, a couple lines of code. And that is it. And I will even drop this code in below this. And I should probably put this in with the rest of my code snippets and videos and stuff as well. So that's it. Any questions? Let me know.